Hello, everybody. My name is John Armstrong, and I am your astronomy professor for elementary astronomy this semester at Weber State University. I wanted to take a minute to introduce myself and go over some of the basics of the course. Um, my specialty is in astronomy, particularly in a science called astrobiology, which is the study of life in the universe, and in particular, how life evolves uh, here on Earth and elsewhere in the universe. Uh, my job is to try and characterize planets that orbit other stars, to look for environments where we could find life, and then prioritize those for search with NASA's telescope. So that's what I do for my research. I'm also extremely passionate about the science of astronomy, and I love to teach people about the universe that they live in. One of my favorite things about astronomy is that anyone can go outside and just look up, and this whole class is going to be about how we use the information that we get from the universe to determine how it works. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about uh, this semester. Now, if you go to our course webpage, which you can see right here, uh, the uh, navigation buttons are at the bottom uh, of the course, and you can go ahead and just click on Start here, and that'll walk you through some introductory material, show you the syllabus, and get you started with the materials that you need. Uh, I just wanted to take a very brief moment to talk about the syllabus uh, and talk about the materials that we're going to be using. Uh, so our course syllabus uh, is linked under the syllabus button, and this gives you my information as well as ways to contact me. Um, this course is, is an online course that will consist of a module per week for the 15 weeks of the semester, and we will not be meeting uh, in person or virtually at any specific time. This is a purely online course, so you can work this uh, when you have time uh, during the week. However, I will be available via Zoom uh, on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 9.30 to 12.30 or by appointment. So if you uh, will have some drop-in sessions where you can just log in and talk to me, um, or if those times don't work for you, we can make other times to go over the material, uh, look at how the activities work, those sorts of things. The materials you're going to be using for this course include uh, your textbook, Understanding Our Universe. Um, the activity book, which is called Learning Astronomy by Doing Astronomy, and the Smart Work Homework Activity System, which is online. Um, all of these materials are being sold at the bookstore bundled uh, for, a, for a special price and also available via the publisher. So you can order these directly from the publisher, and I've linked some information about how to do that. But you're going to need all three of those materials, uh, and we've worked pretty hard to keep the price low, uh, and if you get them all together, I think you'll uh, do pretty well. Uh, this book you'll actually be writing in, um, so if you if you get a used copy, it might have writing already in it, or if you rent it, uh, you'll have to photocopy sheets out. So this is uh, actually comes free with your textbook at SmartWork, so you should probably just grab this, and uh, then you can write in it. Because it turns out that in astronomy, drawing and writing and doing that kind of stuff is incredibly important for uh, for learning what's going on. Okay, so that's uh, those are our course materials. Uh, our course goals, uh, just to get this right out there from the beginning, this is a course about the entire universe. So understanding and learning about every single aspect of the universe is not really doable in one semester. So we're going to be focusing on how we learn these things. Uh, in particular, um, the tools and the techniques that we use so that when you go outside and look at the night sky, you'll be able to understand uh, how we use the information that you see to learn different things. Uh, and and then the specific things that we learn, uh, we'll talk about those in the course and you'll read about those for the rest of your life. Um, my main goal for this course is to understand the scale of the universe. I want you to understand how big it is and how insignificantly small we are. And that's kind of my main goal. If you walk out of here with uh, an image of the universe in your head, uh, I think you'll really be amazed uh, at the state of the universe. Um, again, as I mentioned, we're going to learn the tools and techniques for how we know all that stuff. Um, I also want to talk about life in the universe because it's my specialty. It's something I really love to talk about. And I love to talk about how uh, the properties of the universe give rise to life uh, here on Earth and possibly elsewhere. Uh, and then finally, um, we want to really look at how we use all this to foster our scientific understanding of the universe? How do we use the scientific method to let the universe tell us how it works? Uh, so those are the goals for this course. Uh, the format for this course is online, and every week is going to consist of basically the same three things. You're going to have a reading in your textbook, you're going to have a hands-on activity that you're going to do at home, and then you're going to have your homework assignment. Um, 
in between all those, there are some video lectures and some other uh, some other aspects, simulations and demonstrations and things like that that we'll be doing. Uh, so you'll be able to uh, see those and access all of those through Canvas. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to our um, home, and uh, we're just going to start on the modules uh, and see where this takes us. So if you go ahead and click on start here at the very, very beginning of the course, you'll see a brief introduction about me and uh, some links to the course syllabus, to how to purchase the textbooks, um, some course resources that we have here at Weaver State regarding Canvas, uh, some resources on how to become familiar with Canvas if you've never uh, learned it before, and also some information about uh, academic integrity uh, and conducting yourself in the course. All of these things uh, require us to go through these in order to unlock the next module. So I'll go ahead and click next. Um, course overview is where you'll find this video. And the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, is just a note on course pacing. So what do you expect uh, to do during the week to kind of stay up on the course? And like I said, there's the reading. So you start with the reading. And what I would do is on the first day is I would spend time just looking through the chapter, look through the chapter uh, headings, look through the maybe read the first paragraph of every section, look at the figures, just try to get an understanding of what's happening uh, during that week, what we're going to be learning about. Uh, there's several videos uh, that you'll be watching throughout uh, throughout the week. So maybe on day two, I'd go ahead and watch those. Um, you'll be playing with some simulations, looking at some different uh, different materials that are relevant to the reading you just did. Um, we're going to be doing an activity every week uh, from our learning astronomy by doing astronomy, and that will consist of a pre-quiz, conducting the activity, and then a post-quiz that's going to take about an hour, hour and a half of your time. And then finally, you'll have your homework assignment, which uh, you can do uh, near the end of the week, which is going to take you in about another hour, an hour, hour and a half. Um, all of those things together, you should be able to get done with the module in one week and then move on to the next one. Uh, so those and all of these things have deadlines associated with them, assuming that you're going to keep pace uh, one per week. OK, so I'm not going to go on too much further for this because I think that gives you a good place to start. Uh, if you have questions, you can always contact me uh, and I'll be checking in with you uh, via Canvas throughout uh, throughout the semester. There's one other thing I wanted to show you in this introductory video to kind of get you excited about learning about astronomy, and that is a software tool called Stellarium. So I'll leave a link uh, for Stellarium.org uh, so that you can go and download this. But this tool is a, basically your own little personal planetarium. Um, so if you download Stellarium and install it, uh, you can adjust the location uh, for your location and you can adjust the time for today. And we'll go over how to do all that stuff a little bit later. Um, but when you do, you'll find out, uh, and this is, I'm doing this video a little bit early, this is actually August 11th, uh, but we have Jupiter and Saturn up in the night sky. And we are looking at a spectacular fall season for planets. Uh, I'm really excited that you'll be able to see these things because they're very easy to pick out. You walk outside, you look in the direction, and you cannot miss them. And if you have a pair of binoculars, um, you can even see the moons of Jupiter uh, through those. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. But Stellarium lets you um, find interesting things in the night sky. And it lets you identify constellations uh, and all sorts of things. And I'm going to post another video for this section about how we uh, how we use Stellarium a little bit to uh, find things in the night sky. So we'll talk uh, more about that as we go. So go ahead and download this. Uh, it's something you can have on your computer. It works with Windows. It works with Mac. Uh, there are versions for mobile devices. Uh, and you'll have your own little personal planetarium for us to use throughout the semester. All right, everybody, I'm really excited about this class. Um, one of the great things about doing astronomy online is since we're not meeting during the day, we get to go out at night and look at stuff. Uh, we're going to build a repertoire of Constellation, so you can amaze your friends with finding things in the night sky and learning all about it. Uh, and I'm excited to be uh, a part of it this semester. So please contact me if you have any questions, and we will see you in the course.